everyone welcome back to another video hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual sorry it's been a little minute i recently changed my schedule so it's taken me a couple weeks to adjust but we are back with another one and today we're going to be looking at a part of my summer rack so as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about my favorite mermaid blues <laughs> my friend actually did my makeup for this video i don't wear a lot of makeup so i'm actually a bit out of my element right now but she did a fantastic job and i thought it'd be really fun to do for the theme of this video because you know i got the red hair going on i got the mermaid makeup that matches the nail polish i'm wearing so you know thought this would be fun for you guys so these are going to kind of be a continuation of like my favorite blues to wear as i did show you guys some unique spring polishes that um unique robin's egg polishes for spring so we're going to be talking about mermaid blues for summer and these are my second type of favorite blues to wear in my collection I kind of think they're my first actually but I think it's just because spring comes before summer so I always want to bust out my Robin's egg pastels and wear them but these are the blues that I love to wear for the summertime because just remind me of being at the beach and just pool water and all that good stuff so I have 10 picks to share with you guys I have a few more um, mermaid polishes in my collection but these are the ones that stand out to me the most so let's just get into this video so the first polish I have up here is from OPI this is called Nessie plays hide and CK now this one is so interesting because it's a mainstream and it looks like an indie to me so while the base is super dark in this the tealy shimmer does get a bit lost in it but I absolutely love it I think this polish is phenomenal and it's not a polish that i've really seen opi come out with they don't really come out with like deep mermaid oceany blues but this is one of the first ones that i saw i think they have a few that came out maybe in the venice collection but i don't have any from that collection but this one just stood out to me so much i love the tea leaf base in there and i like how inky this is my only complaint is that blues like this are kind of hard to apply just because I think just how runny they are sometimes sometimes you have to be super super careful not to get it um, on your skin or anything like that and this one does stain unfortunately so you definitely have to wear a base coat a really really good base coat or maybe a peel off base coat that's the easiest way for this one but phenomenal and I love it so that was OPI's Nessie plays hide and CK Next one up is from a Canadian brand. This is Saki Cosmetics Trip Switch. Now what is mermaid about this one is those gorgeous flakies in there. There, there is a blue, there's like a magenta, like a, like a jewel tone magenta purple, and some green as well. This was phenomenal, you guys, and the staying power on this bad boy, absolutely awesome. This was so good, and I don't, know a lot of canadian indie brands so when i just find ones close to home i stick near to them i did do a swatch and review of this a while ago when um i did get some pr from saki cosmetics but this one i did pick out on my own and i absolutely loved it i didn't think it was going to be that mermaid vibes when i saw it on the website but it definitely is and i think this is so fun for summer so that was saki cosmetics trip switch Next one is really the only purple one on this rack, and this is from Cuticula. I did haul this in my recent haul. I did pick this up in February of this year. This is called Mermaid Mirage. The whole Shattered Fantasy collection could just be mermaid polishes on their own, but I didn't really want to make a whole collection for my whole mermaid picks, you know? So this one I did pick because it is purple. It is just so, it looks like a purple underwater coral reef with those big big flakies this does cover really really well in two coats but i like the flakies more pronounced on my nails so i always do add a third coat depending on how thick the polish is and this was actually pretty thin if you apply it in three thin coats it won't apply really goopy on your nails or really thick where it's like peeling off without a base coat but man this one is absolutely phenomenal like i said that whole collection just stood out to me so much but um since i love purples and the blue flakies in there there's a bit of orange flakies in there as well you can't see it too well on my camera but it is in there Cuticula's flakies kind of remind me of like fish food flakes <laughs> i don't know why it clearly looks like stained glass but that's just where my mind goes so that was mermaid mirage 
Next one up is the second mainstream on this rack. This is China Glaze's Splish Splash. Now I was gonna include China Glaze's I Truly Azure You, which is pretty similar to this one, but this one looks more like pool water to me. And it definitely, definitely reminds me of summertime. It is a bit jewel toned as well. I wanna say it's a bit on the metallic -y side as well, but I think it's more on the jewel tone side. This one reminds me of pool water. You know those like pool waters that you see and that have like the blue tile at the bottom and the clear water? That's what this reminds me of. It's just so, so pretty and so much depth for, um, you know, a China Glaze polish. I feel like uh, this one is one that I would definitely keep continuously wearing throughout the year, but it's very mermaidy. It's very deep. It's gorgeous. Staying power on this one is really good too, as well as the formula. I honestly have no complaints about this polish. I think it's one of those perfect blues that needs to be talked about. So I talked about it. <laughs> so that was Splish Splash. And like I said, it is true. It is um, similar to I Truly Azure You, but this one is a bit deeper. It's much more of a, a deep blue than I Truly Azure You. Next one up is one from October 2021 PPU. The theme was Monsters and Mythical Creatures. And this polish is by Fair Maiden. This is called Underneath It All. This is inspired by an underwater serpent. You guys, how could I not get this polish when the inspiration is literally a water creature and it's gonna be a mermaid polish? This is phenomenal. And what I love about this one is that purple to blue to green dual chrome in there. So much going on. The flakies are quite sparse. So I was a bit worried when um, I got this because I thought the flakies would be a bit more jam packed. So I was a bit worried that I wouldn't like it, but I just like how scaly this looks like. The flakies in there just kind of glow from within and it looks like very scaly, like a serpent. It definitely has like a mermaid's tail vibe absolutely love this one um the oh, my only complaint about this one it's not a big one but it was quite thick this formula was very thick and a bit stringy thinner did fix it for the most part but i think i kind of have to use it more to get more thinner in there to kind of even everything out but this does cover it does cover pretty good in two coats but i like the flakies more pronounced since they are pretty sparse so i did put on three coats for my swatch picture but this one was phenomenal and I'm so, so happy that I picked it up. So that was Fair Maidens Underneath It All from October's 2021 PPU. Okay, now this next one really, really surprised me. Um, and I do have an H&M video coming your guys' way. But this is a recent um, polish that I did haul from H&M. Got it off their website. And I believe that's the only place you can actually purchase there are websites in Canada anyway, but this is called Moonchild. You guys, look at the glow in this polish. This has a purple flip in there, which makes it so irresistible to look at. Like this is just phenomenal. So this covers pretty well in about two coats, but I think if you had longer nails, you would need a third coat to cover everything up. The formula was phenomenal on these polishes. The formulas are so good for H&M. These do come in a smaller eight milliliter eight milliliter bottle i think this is the smallest milliliter bottle of polish i have in my collection but absolutely this one and i was so surprised that it was so mermaidy because it did not look like that on the website the polishes are a bit deceiving on the website i won't lie but um this one was beautiful and i cannot wait to wear it again so that was h m's moon child next one up is the one that i do have on my nails currently this is from ILMP, one of my favorite brands. This is called Blue Lagoon, and this came out in last summer's collection. I think the second part of their summer collection. Oh, you guys, this, like, look, it just, it's total match, win-win. <laughs> this is the ultimate, ultimate mermaid polish. Now, the thing with this is it looks a lot more blue in the bottle, but as you can see on my nails, it comes out a bit more tealy and orangey. Either way this came out, I knew I was gonna love it. As soon as I saw this swatched, I was like, yep, that's another mermaid palette to add to my collection. I love this one so much. And ILMP is one of my favorite bands because the staying power on me is just everlasting. It does not end until I literally take it off for most of the polishes anyway. But this one was one of my top picks from their summer collection last year. I absolutely love it. I got so many compliments on it already. People asking me like, what brand is it and everything like this polish is just awesome and I feel like it's one of the more unique finishes for ILMP because they 
do tend to stick to the scattered holographic and this one was just a nice um, addition to the summer collection last year so that was blue lagoon the next one i have for you guys is kb shimmers the tide is right this came out in i believe it was 2018 summer collection i got it because that purple duochrome in there i i feel like i only gravitate towards duochromes when they're purple and blue anything else i'm just like I, I can't I can't get with it so this one is just so phenomenal I absolutely love it. it has a tealy glow in there which makes it so so unique I just love it so much um this one just glows on the nails you guys like it glows from afar you will see it and it on the sun absolutely phenomenal all these polishes in the sun are phenomenal this one is a bit subdued I guess mermaid mirage but oh this one one of my favorites in that summer collection it is gorgeous phenomenal I cannot say enough good things about this polish. It's definitely one of my favorites on my rack. And I've only worn it about twice now. So I really, that's why I put it on this rack for the summertime. So that was The Tide is Right. Now the next one up is one that I can't believe I waited so long to try. Um, this is Fall Polish for Days Under the Sea. This one, you guys, looks like a blue coral reef. And the name fits it so well. It really does look like you're under the sea. It's very deep water. Uh, the flakies in there are phenomenal, you guys. They, There's a bit of a purple flip in there, but the flakies range from a, a tealy blue to um, an ocean blue. Like, oh, this covers beautifully, beautifully in three coats. So good. Um, formula is fantastic. It stays where you put it. I really like Polish for Days. One of my favorite brands. Um, the staying power was great for me. Not all of her power of her polishes um have great staying power in me, but I find the flakies really do. And I just knew mermaid polishes are my jam. And I knew when this came out last summer, I was like, I got to get that. That is in my bag already. It's in my cart. <laughs> so um, yeah, this one, I feel like this one's going to win awards. I think it did win some awards for the indie movement. Like, this polishes it, you guys. It really is. So that was Under the Sea by Polish for Days. And I did save the best for last. And again, it's another Polish for Days. And I have talked about this one before. This is one of my favorite indie polishes in my collection. This is Kelpie. Now, this one, I've added this to my collection twice now because I did have a nail polish rack and it did break and this is one of the polishes that broke. So when it did come back in stock, I did end up getting two because not all the polishes stay in stock for polish for days. Some of them are returning like fan favorites and things like that. So this one is definitely a fan favorite. One bunch of like uh, indie uh, nail polish awards. So oh, this one is just beautiful, you guys. This is an ocean in a bottle just the range from here it's just it looked just like crystallized like not crushed emeralds that was one of her polishes she came out with this year but isn't it's not similar to that it's more of a tealy base it's not green well it is green but it's more on the tealy side of green this is phenomenal you guys this was i feel like this was just the polish that like made me really love mermaid looking polishes and made me want to wear them for the summertime like this is just so good you guys and I do think it is coming back because Polish for Days is celebrating their eight-year anniversary if you're part of the Facebook group there's all the details there but um, I think this one is returning so if you guys missed it and you want to get it it is coming back sometime this month so um, yeah definitely I had to save the best for last so that is Polish for Days Kelpie all right guys that was it for this video let me know if you enjoyed these polishes and what your favorite mermaid blues is or what your favorite blues are in general i will be doing an official summer rack but these are the blues the colors that i like to get out um first in the summertime and yeah blue lagoon just had to be it it is beautiful and the staying power is great <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next one thank you for tuning in i appreciate it and take care of yourselves